And so the story continues. No world is complete without a clock tower, and the moon is no exception. But the hands of this clock are not used to tell time. They are used to shape children's dreams. Light and dark decide if it's a quarter to a nightmare, or half past a daydream, or ten till a rude awakening. To keep a stern watch over the clock, the moon goddess had chosen Mr. Pink. But that was before. When the white moonstone shattered, the clock spun into madness, and Mr. Pink went missing. To bear or not to bear? Who is she, this witch who's after my moonstone? Why does she oppose me? She didn't have to steal Calibrus. She didn't have to pick on me like this. It's not fair. This is my moonsies. Nobody else can have it. Not that mean witch, that awful hag. Whoever she is, she's mean and, and I hate her. I seen her somewhere. Yes, that would explain it. Who is she? Where have I met her before? Wait. Yes, Mika. Of course. You're done, Hag. Checkmate. Ha <laughs> Cushioning Kutaro's fall was a strange garden constructed like a maze. Primly precise hedges were prankishly preventing Kutaro's progression. Of course, Kutaro could prove to come pre-equipped with the proper prudence. Really, I hope you're happy with yourself. I went to all that trouble to hide myself, but what's the point exactly? If you're going to march into my garden and mercilessly slip away at my disguise, I might as well be wearing a lampshade. I mean, I'll probably itch less. Not that you care. Uh, show a little gratitude? Kataro just, like, saves you. Do you have any idea who he is? Lost soul, rightful bearer of Calibrus, hero of the moon. Yes, it's all very obvious, very clear to my mate in eye. But, you see, that's why I'm getting pernickety. You're being far too reckless. You probably ride your bicycle at night without a helmet. And do you really expect to defeat the moon bear king like that? Really? Oh, Mr. Pink? Okay. So, like, why were you hiding in the bush again? Ah, must we go over every detail? Clocks ticking, sand trickling out of the hourglass. Come on now. Fine, here we go. Class is in session. Have a seat or stand or hover, whatever. Basically, this all started with dreams. The goddess, because she's rather smart, decided that there should be a certain parity, that means equality, in how we interact with children in their dreams, which of course led to the construction of the clock tower built by a watchmaker by the name Looks of... Looks like you'll have to... For crying out loud! Can you just give us the abridged version? Oh, you talk faster than most sane people think, and we've got a lot to do. Shameful, simply lamentable, the attitude of our young people. That clock controls when children dream. Stop. Only I can operate within the goddess's absence. Stop. I hid from at MBK to keep him from using it for evil. Stop. 140! Well done. So, the Moonbear King is after your clock. Wait. What does he want with a clock? Can't he buy a watch? I'll have to explain that too. All right. Twenty words or less. <sighs> he wants to permanently stop with the clock hands at midnight, but he needs me to do it. Right. That does sound bad. What happens if the hands stop at midnight? Dreamtime will be frozen at the darkest hour, never to flow again. In short, Yes, please. <laughs> oh no! Mr. Pink! Ah, ah, Harry! If the Moon Bear King uses me to stop that clock, we're all. We're all! Kutaro dashed through the verdant labyrinth, <laughs> determined to. Look at the Immense 
participate me, uh, which, as you know, more or less derived from Latin, meaning deliver from the hands of hey, Ides. He must alive. free me from General Rooster's talons. Uh, he doesn't have hands, and thereby the land of times, me liberated. Tokyo Garden was yes. a magical place. Now, uh, uh, freedom may seem subjective. Uh, hey, Gat, can't you move any faster? I am in trouble, you know. I mean, you've got stumpy appendages, but a bit of urgency ought to compensate for walking right. Unless you've already written me off as a disposable character. Yes, well, I have a few things to say about that. Oh my gosh! Talk, talk, talk! Kataro's gonna ditch you if you don't stop polluting the air with your noise. Nobody likes a wise-cracking motor mouth who flies around and tells people what to do. Trust me, I deal with people like that all the time. I have a feeling our beloved audience knows exactly what Picarina is talking On through the verdant labyrinth, Kuturo dashed as Mr. Pink... What in blazes is taking so long? It's your fault I'm even in this predicament, you the and your... The garden stretched on. Slip, slip, why don't I light up Mr. Pink disguise? Yes! Kuturo found himself astride a Triceratops, second only to the T-Rex on the Dinosaur Top 40! Rescue me, and that means you have to hurry! <laughs> Do you see what I did there? Would you just shut up while Kataro hooks you loose? Alas, the twisted Topiary topography was making Mr. Pink's rescue rather difficult. In fact, have the whole leopard! Don't be ridiculous, leopard spots aren't made of tea. They're made of a special pigmentation that, uh, in actual fact, is... Kutaro found himself an unwilling guest of General Rooster's afternoon tea. But there was no time to sit back and nibble on pastries. He had to leap from table to table just to keep up with his host. The tea gets cold, you have all the time in the world. Oh, yeah. Huh. Kutaro sheared a path along General Rooster's trail of feathers and moved to the next table. It's important for these sorts of functions to make the rounds and socialize a bit. One can't be rude and keep to oneself. Biscuits and fruit, cold cups and scones. It all looks scrumptious. But a party is more than just eating. Remember, it's proper to give up your seats for the elderly and people who need them. Yeah, I'm not so sure my grandma would want this chair. Oh, I can't take it anymore. Can't we crash for just one second? Remember, it's proper to give up your seats for the elderly and people who need them. Uh, yeah, I'm not so sure my grandma would want this chair. Ooh, let's go right. That type looks yummy. Jump, jump! Maybe the left would have been easier. General Rooster flapped away disdainfully every... Remember... It's proper to give up your seats for the elderly and people who need them. Yeah, I'm not so sure my grandma... Oh, I can't take it anymore. Can't we crash for just... Ooh, let's go right. That type of yummy. Jump, jump! Maybe the left would have been easier. General Rooster flapped away disdainfully every time Kutaro got close. The trail of feathers was leading our hero ever closer to the clock tower. Kutaro's wild rooster chase had led him to Mr. Pink's place of employment. One magical clock tower at the heart of the land of time. The insides of the tower were stuffed with enormous, intricate gears. Do they really need this many?
Kutaro's wild rooster chase had led him to Mr. Pink's place of employment, one magical clock tower at the heart of the land of time. The insides of the tower were stuffed with enormous, intricate gears. Do they really need this many? The gears mesh together in order to transmit torque. You see, they're finely tuned to make sure that the hour and minute hands of the clock rotate at steady, accurate pace. Also, they make convenient footholds. Time's clock used a magic pendulum which always kept perfect time and never had to be wound. It was scientific perfection. You just said it was magic. I'm just trying to create a little atmosphere, all right? If you want to be strange, go ahead and put every little story detail under a microscope, really. The rest of us will be having fun. Thank you. The tower's stately exterior was lavishly decorated, which worked out well for Kutaro, who needed a path to the top. Hey! Why don't you use them to cut a path up? Heads up! Those were yours? Uh, I thought you were a boy chicken. I can be anything I want! I'm a peacock! You did it again! You monster! Kutaro was hot on Rooster's tail as the general tried to fly out of reach. You nasty little thing! Why won't you fall? My babies! You little jerk! Every egg of mine you smash! I'll smash back on you tenfold! Kutaro used the clock's internal mechanisms to climb even higher.
Kutero swiftly calculated gear rotation, spring recoil, and pendulum arc, using the power of mathematics to cross the tower. his way past the endless machinery that worked tirelessly to keep time. Kutaro's innate sense of rhythm allowed him to cut his way safely past the obstacle. After a long clamber, Kutaro had finally reached the top of the clock tower. Hey! Sitter, hero! I'm up here! He's been turned into a clock hand! Save me, please! Before the clock strikes twelve! Your time is up, Kutaro! Soon this world will be plunged into eternal darkness! I hope you mean eternal darkness. Don't you cowardly chicken! Call anyone yellow, Mr. Pink. Come on, you cockadoodle doofus! I'll shred you nasty things to tiny pieces. closer to midnight. If Kutaro didn't hurry, the crazed Chanticleer wouldn't be the half of his problems. Stop messing about, you fool! Did Calibrus choose you or not? Undo the ropes that are binding me! How can we... However, the clock hands now teetered just a few tick-tocks away from the sinister stroke of twelve. Only brave Kutaro could avert the impending crisis. <laughs> We're doomed! Midnight is upon us! There is no hope! The world will end! I should never have put my faith in a couple of... Shut up! We're gonna save you, so just chill out, okay? That's what you think! <laughs> the proverbial gloves are off! Oh, 
He's on the route! My beautiful plumage! I'll make a rotisserie out of you! Look out, lad! Destroy his wing! Marvelous and timely hit! Hurry! Time is running out! Control, check. Nice job, Kitaro. Hello, what are you doing? I'm over here. W would you help me, please? Thank you. <laughs> Hold on, we're coming. Wrong <laughs> again. No. What? No, you can't. <laughs> Monkey saw his chance and seized it. As the clock struck twelve, Dreamtime lurched into its darkest, most terrifying hour. Kotaro, look! The Earth! <laughs> you see, Kotaro! Now children in everywhere will be locked in an inescapable nightmare! Their souls will be ripe for the harvest! They will make my master invincible! <laughs> Dragon! Come forth! Open the gateway to Earth! Bring me those children's souls! Kutaro's victory over Rooster felt empty. He should have known Monkey wouldn't play fair. And now that the damage was done, he was powerless to stop the long night to come. Even in the land of time, there was no changing the past. With the help of Calibrus, Kuturo defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kuturo! The souls he freed were homeward bound.